So now we'll add the required configurations to the Prometheus and the Alert Manager YMLs so that they communicate with each other. And that will send an email upon any alert firing. Okay, so that's in this section here. Okay, so we'll open the Alert Manager config and replace the config with this information below. So on my Prometheus server, Alert Manager YML. Go. And I'm going to get rid of all of this using Control K, and I'm going to replace it completely with this. Okay, so any defaults that I've missed out here will be added when we restart the Alert Manager YML. I'll show you that. Okay, so I have one root, well, one receiver in my root, SMTP local, and this is its config here. Name SMTP local, email configs to from require TLS false. That's because I haven't set up TLS encryption on my SMTP server. The smart host is at localhost 25, it's just local, and send resolved true means when the alert was resolved, we will get another email alert. That's the bare minimum you need. Control X to save, yes. Now we should check that that works. So I'm gonna use the AM tool, check config. Okay, so no problems, success. Let's restart the alert manager. And check its status. Very good. And we can quickly just refresh it. Yep, it's working. Very good. Now to edit the Prometheus configuration. So let's open up the Prometheus YML. Down here and in the alert manager configuration section here, we'll add a new target and that will just be localhost 9093, like so. That's written there. Now we can check also using the prom tool, our Prometheus configuration. And it says success, one rule found, success, four rules found. So it's double checked our Prometheus rules at the same time. Let's restart and check its status. Very good. Let's uh, refresh it. Very good. And it works. Now, both of those processes are now communicating with each other and we need to ensure that it's referencing the correct URL. So over here in status, runtime and build information, we have an endpoint and we can just test that endpoint there. It returns to success when we call it using curl. If I just write curl and put that and it says status success. Okay, so both of these are now configured. Let's turn off, say this node exporter down here and if all is correct, we'll get an email sent out through the SMTP server to my email address. Okay, so I'm on my two coin server. I'm gonna shut down the node exporter. Okay, alerts. Alerts. Okay, let's refresh that. We've got one instance down, it's pending. Doesn't show up in the alert manager yet. Okay, so it's showing up in the alert manager. As severity, critical. These are our labels. Info has been down for more than one minute. Instance two coined it all down. This is our description and summary. And quickly, this is showing, this should be showing firing now. It does. Now let's check our emails. Okay, so I have an alert here. Firing one instance down, two coin.org9100. One alert for alert name instance down, one firing labels instance, two coin.org9100. Well, it's just firing. Let's restart the service again on twocoin.org and we'll see that we'll also get an alert for when it's resolved. And here we go, here's the resolution resolved. Excellent.
And just in case you weren't aware, the alert manager also has a metrics path to it. So we can add the alert manager as a scrape target to Prometheus. We'll just do that now. Back on the Prometheus server, let's open up our Prometheus YML. And down at the bottom, we'll add a new scrape target. And we'll call it alert manager. And it is listening on 9093. Three start Prometheus. Very good. Back into Prometheus, graphs drop down. We have a whole lot of alert manager time series now showing up. It also supports the up time series. So we see it here, alert manager now, value equals one. So very good. Everything solved and the alert managers nice and quiet as well. And there is the configuration. When I've created my configuration, I've only added these two and this section and everything else oh in that and everything else was created by the alert manager all oh, very good